Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have a bit of a collective haul for you. I didn't realise I had so much stuff to show you. I've done a little bit of shopping over the previous weeks and it's all kind of built up. You might be able to tell. I think I'm coming down with a cold. I'm really like bunged up and I've got a sore throat and you know when you just wake up feeling really groggy so if my voice sounds really low or I'm sniffling anything like that then that's why. So the first thing that I've got to show you is from River Island and it's this top it's kind of three quarter length um, the arms are three the sleeves are three quarter lengths and they've got this really pretty crochet detailing on and it's almost a tinted yellow colour um, with kind of like blue and purple going through it and then the back there's buttons all the way down the back so it's really pretty. This was £28 and also I'm thinking this is going to be one of the outfits that I wear for my makeup course because I'm already planning that so I picked up that and I really like that. Then also from River Island I picked up a kimono and this was £40 which I was kind of umming and ahhing about because that's a lot of money for a kimono but River Island tends to be quite good quality and I've not seen anything like this anywhere else and I really, really, really like it. So I just thought I'm just gonna get it. So it's this blue and white kimono and it's got like blue f kind of floral print stitching on it and then at the bottom it's got this trim um, going all the way across it which I just thought was really really different and I just think in the spring and even in the summer this is going to be really easy to wear um, with like a white top underneath it or even um, like a bright yellow top underneath I think this would contrast quite nice with the blue. I've got just one thing from Primark to show you as well as a pair of shoes I think but only one piece of clothing and this it kind of is Spring because there's a little bit of colour to it but th I think this could be worn all year round but it's this blouse and this was there's no tag on it okay when I bought this there was no label in it and I actually need to take this back to get the bigger size so I'm kind of hoping I can exchange it but anyway um so I got this blouse and it's basically just a normal style shirt with a collar um really nice it's quite fitted which is why I want to take it back to get the bigger size because I prefer my shirts to be a bit oversized but I just really liked this kind of blood orange colour in it I thought it really contrasted nice with the navy and I think that this with this colour lipstick in the spring is just going to be really really nice and really stand out um, even with white jeans or normal colour jeans I just think this is really nice and quite easy to wear then I've got a couple of things from New Look to show you and this first one was from the Parisian collection brand you know where they do have like concession brands and this was 19 99 this looks a lot worse on the hanger than it does on on it it's so flattering and it looks so pretty but on the hanger it like I ordered this online and I think if I'd seen it in the store I probably wouldn't have picked it up but basically it's this white shirt and it's almost kind of I don't know how you describe it kind of folky festivally um, and it's got this really nice detail in here the colours I just think are really pretty it's a little bit longer so it's flattering and then this detail goes all the way across the bottom and I just thought because it's going to cover up that little bit of arm that I don't like and it's a little bit longer it's really really flattering and for spring and also summer that this would be really easy to wear it look really nice with red lipstick and I just really like it I just think it's really different and I think it's it's really good quality for New York as well also from New York I got another kimono this was $14.99 it's basically if you can see the print it's just a sheer kimono um so the normal style and this is the print and it's this was from the tall section so it's a little bit longer so it covers up my bum so that's really really good also from New Look I picked up a jacket which I'd seen in the store and then when I got home I just couldn't stop thinking about it so I ordered it online and this was $29.99 and um, so a bit more pricey for New Look but the quality and the way that it looks on it really doesn't feel like it's from New Look it's got kind of padded shoulders and then it's almost I don't know if you'd call it buccal um, and it's kind of a mint green and very light blue colour. I don't know if it's picking up true to colour on the camera. The style of the pockets here and I just I can't wait to wear this. I think it's a gorgeous colour for spring and the summer months and I can't wait to wear this. I love wearing these kind of jackets in the warmer months. The last thing I've got from New Look are a pair of crop trousers and these were 
These were $17.99. Basically, this is the print of them. So they're navy blue with this kind of floral detail on and if you're not keen on wearing trousers they actually have this print and I think a top and also a maxi dress so if you like the print but you're not keen on trousers then that might be something you want to check out but basically they're just crop trousers and um, they've got pockets here and they look like they'd be quite loose and flimsy but actually when they're on they're quite fitted but in a really nice way. They're elasticated at the back, which is good for those days where you want to go out and eat more than you should. And I think they're just gonna be really comfy to wear and they're really flattering. Um, and again, I think I'm probably gonna wear these with maybe like a white top and then even mint green jacket that I've just shown you. I think that'll look really nice together. Um, and I think these could be wear kind of dressed down or dressed up. So I'm looking forward to wearing these. I just wish it would get a little bit warmer so that I can stop wearing some of these clothes. That's all the clothing that I've got to show you. And recently I've bought quite a few pairs of shoes and I'm not really a shoe person, but recently I've just, I've really been going for the shoes. Like I've seen so many that have caught my eye um, and I've ordered them. So I thought rather than just show you a couple of pairs, I'd just show you them all because I really am happy with all of them. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen these on there because I posted a picture of these when they arrived because I just couldn't not show you straight away. And they are these heels. So I think they're the ASOS hoaxer and they're rose gold. Like what else do I need to say? They're rose gold. I think they're so pretty and so stylish and they're not that high um, and I just can't wait to wear these. I think they're just going to go with everything and I just can't wait to wear these. I absolutely love them. I think these were about £38 um, but I just I just love them. Then from Miss Selfridge I've got another pair of heels and these are in the box. <laughs> I've not even unwrapped this one. These are another pair of heels and I've wanted a nude pair for a really long time and that last pair that I just showed you is probably the closest that I've ever got to a nude pair of heels. Um, I just never found any that were flattering for my feet and until I saw these and this is what they look like. So they've got the little strap here again and then it kind of like crosses over and this bit's elasticated and then this bit goes around your ankle and I just think they're really classic and really gorgeous and again they're not that high. I told you I had a lot of shoes. Um, the next few pairs are all flats and the first ones that I'll show you are from H&M and I'm really into these kind of like skater shoes at the moment and I saw these with a bit of a thinner sole um, so I thought them a bit more feminine, a bit more dainty and they're snake skin and these were I think 15 pounds and when I first wore these they killed um, but after the first couple of wears they kind of wore in and they're actually really comfy now. They kind of just jazz up any outfit and they're comfy, cheap, what more could you want really? So I'm glad I got those because I wear my black quantum ASOS all the time so they're just a little bit different. Then following on I think there's definitely a theme with these shoes that are either nude or snake skin um, and these are a mix of both and these ones are actually from Dorothy Perkins and they're a pair of sandals. They've got a snake skin, skin strap here and then kind of a big panel here that's nude and then the back they're silver and um, so metallic and I just thought these incorporated so many different trends and that these sandals seem to be really in this season. I've seen a lot of these in the different shops. There's actually a pair in Clarks of all places that I really like but they're about £50 whereas these were only £23 so a lot more affordable. Yeah I'm glad I got these. They're a little bit different but I think that when the I just I don't know I just really like them so. The last pair are a pair from Primark and when I saw these I couldn't really believe that I liked them and um, they are quite different. Um, I don't think they're going to be to everyone's taste. These were £8 and I was actually shopping with somebody else and when I walked over to them she was like no <laughs> and I kind of just got them to not annoy her but kind of just be like I'm going to make these work. I'm just going to prove to you that there's a reason I do like these shoes. And even when I got them home, I thought, why did I buy these? I'm just not going to wear them. They're not going to look right. But then I tried them on and they are so flattering. They look so nice and just, they're different, but just, I think they look quite classy. I don't know. I really like them. But without further ado, they are these. So as you can see, they are quite different. They're rose gold. And then at the front, they've got kind of 
it, in each different panel it's kind of like a blush pink and I just really like them. So it's got this kind of like crossover detail here, it's got the strap to go around the ankle and the rose gold and honestly if you see these in the store and you're drawn to them but you're not sure or if someone's trying to put you off them try them on because they look so much nicer on than they do on the hanger and I'm really glad that I picked them up so it just goes to show that it doesn't do for us all to be the same and sometimes you've just got to go with your gut no matter whether it's something massive that you're doing or whether it's choosing a pair of shoes um, just go for it and try them because you never know you might be pleasantly surprised like I was so there you go my lesson for the day for you um, so that's everything that I've got to show now. you and I hope you're all having a lovely weekend enjoy your Sunday make it count go see family go see friends have a really good day stay in your pajamas whatever it is you do and I hope you're having a really good time I'll actually be in London and tonight I'm going to see Ollie Mears at the O2 and I'm really excited and I'm also going to be vlogging so make sure you come back to watch those because I think it's gonna be a really nice weekend thank you for all your support and just keep on watching my videos I really really am having like the best time ever and um, I'll see you very soon thanks for watching bye like, who waves like this? Why did I start doing this? Now I feel like on every video I've got to end it like this, but who wa- I don't even wave like that. I wave like this. Bye. Who waves like this? Nobody. Maybe I should start going, thanks for watching. Bye. Let me know. Should I do this or this? I think this. I feel like a bit of a talking puppet with this. Bye. <laughs> all over my eyelids. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of bronzer in my crease if I want a little bit more definition. But I've just put, put I've just been putting this all over my eyelid, underneath my eye, and I'm good to go. It's a really easy colour to wear. It is taut, um, it's shimmery, it's just gorgeous, and I've been wearing it non-non-stop.